Hi, I'm Josh Kumra, and you're watching RWD TV, and these are my school days. I went to school in Swindon, um, a place called Headland School. Yeah, fun place. It's very grim. I was kind of a rebel, to be honest, um, wearing the old trainers, trying to get away with uh, wearing some black night trainers, pretending they're shoes and stuff. Uh, uniform was just like, it wasn't no blazer stuff. It was just like black trousers, school t-shirt kind of thing. Yeah, nothing too kind of, it's Swindon, man. Like, it's like, yeah. Do you know what? It's probably me. No, I'm <laughs> joking, that's a joke. Oh yeah, my PE teacher was in the newspaper, Steve in the vacuum. No, he wasn't really. <laughs> no, but he was quite a rebel actually. I had a really cool PE teacher. He's like, yeah, he, he did make the papers one time. I, I couldn't remember for what, but um, yeah, he's quite a weird character. He's probably the most famous pe person there, actually. We'd get some lunch money, like £2.50 a day. And uh, that was never enough. So basically, we, we, we started to gamble a little bit. And um, we used to play this thing called flicks, where you just flick the coin against the wall, and the, and the closest thing, the closest coin to the wall gets the money. And you like, win like 50p. But I was rich after that, man. I was good. I used to go home and practice as well. When we got to like year 10, we had to start wearing ties. So everybody would come in and it's like, you're either cool or you're not, and it all depends on how you've got your tie. It's like, yeah, if you've got it down to here, you're not cool. If you've got it down to here, you're not cool. It's got to be perfect about there, tucked in. And Which if, it, and if you're really cool, you can put like a little Nike badge on it or something like that, and like you're trendy. We got used to saying the word chip, because like you'll see somebody come around the corner, and you're like, let's chip, and then you just run, you just bolt it. And that's why I was quite good at the 100 meters, actually. Because I was just used to running away from teachers. But, yeah, that's about it. Favourite subject, apart from music, um, was geography, actually. I really liked it. Just kind of, I'm a big fan of rivers. I actually mention a lot of rivers and trees in my um, songs for some weird, weird thing. But, yeah, it's interesting, man. Just to see... I don't know. I don't, I don't want to live a life where like, you don't know about things surrounding you, you know? Back in school, everybody like arrange a fight. And like, yeah, we'll, like we'll meet you down the fields at like five o'clock, and everybody will go there. And um, one time I did that, and I was thinking, for some reason something got out of hand, and um, they ended up being like sixty to a hundred people going down this one field to watch me and this guy have a little row. And I was thinking, actually, he is bigger than me, and I don't really want to get beaten up in front of a hundred people. So um, I really wussed out and kind of pretended to have detention. I actually, I actually, I think I actually went into school that day trying to be a pain in the ass. Can I say ass? I said that, yeah. Um, to get detention because I wanted them to keep me in school so I didn't have to go down this field and have a fight with this guy. So, yeah. I had a teacher who fancied me. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, without a doubt. At prom, you know you have those last, like, end of term proms. Um, yeah, I found out a couple of things about my teacher that night, that day, that night. <laughs> she just wouldn't leave me alone, she wanted to dance, and I couldn't even dance, so kind of got a bit weird. And then she stopped my mate. I think it was the best days of my life. Um, I was a pain in, in the butt, but um, I think that's all part and parcel of it. Do you know what I mean? You have to be a rebel, and then kind of, yeah. If you're bad in school, it kind of, you, kind of, like, you can only get better, if you know what I mean. Well, you could get worse, but...